welcome back to my channel today is going to be part one of a series I'm starting just to get me to I guess to motivate me to start getting rid of a lot of stuff that I own um, so as part one I'm going to start with my closet um, wardrobe I'm not going to do everything in my wardrobe because I am going to split this series into categories but today is going to be basically my clothes and then like afterwards it'll probably be bags and then after that it'll be shoes like that's how the series is going to go and I'm not only going to be doing like apparel I'll also be decluttering like my makeup collection so yeah stay tuned for that so um this is something that I'm not doing but these are like my bags and my shoes so this is my wardrobe um obviously I'm not doing the shoes so I'm only going to be doing all of this here and um yeah whatever I don't keep I am going to list on my depop um obviously I'm not going to try on everything in my closet because I just don't want to do that but I will try on the items that I'm decluttering I guess you could say so let's get started luckily my closet is organized by um kind of in categories I organize like I do like tank tops then t-shirts then dress like spaghetti strap dresses and I do thicker strap dresses then yeah <laughs> so you will see I'll like pull out everything and show it but I'm only going to try on the items that I'm going to be listing on Depop and by the time this video is up those things will be listed around the same time so that people who see this video actually have a chance <laughs> to get this stuff if they're interested so let's get started i'm going to start with the, the um, tank tops also i'll turn my air purifier off because i feel like it might be making like white noise okay um so my my closet is pretty packed which is why I'm doing this um, so I'm just taking out extra hangers I also don't think I mentioned but I'm doing this declutter because I have a lot of stuff that I my style is kind of changing I guess you could say yeah um, my style is changing and I got a lot of new stuff for like just like also like the colder season that's coming up so I you know like got a big haul to show it's kind of a collective haul like stuff i've been getting over the past few months but yeah i'll be doing sorry if you hear something over there but um maybe i should just turn this on <laughs> i turn back on the air purifier because i want white noise since my boyfriend is playing games but um he's playing games on the in the other room Oh yeah, well essentially I'm doing this. I will show that big haul like in a later video, like after I declutter, because after that haul I wanna be able I wanna have space in my closet to put that stuff away. So yeah, just to cut things short. Now we'll get into the try on. Not try on, declutter. So these are all of my tank tops alone. I definitely don't wear tank tops often, so I could easily get rid of some of this stuff here. Um, I also apologize about the squeaky floor. Um, when I walk around, my floor makes noise. It's only this room though. I don't really know how to get rid of it, so yeah. <laughs> So up first we have this um, ooh, this Earth Angel dust. Sorry, that scared me. It was like lamp, but um, it also has 
What's this? Oh. I have, I don't think I've ever posted a picture in this, but this is a very cute design. I love, like, these shirts that are cut like this, so. Um, as I was saying, yeah, I really love this design, and I think it flatters my body type a lot, so I'll definitely be keeping this one. I just really like the color of this, um, the material is very, very soft. I haven't had a chance to wear it yet, but if I don't wear it this year, I'll definitely wear it next year. Um, this is a top that I bought during quarantine, I believe, and I just never wore it. It's really beautiful orange. It has, like, kind of like a sparkly material. It's definitely a swim top. It's also lined here. So it, it is a swim top. I've just never had the chance to wear it. I'm not sure that I will. Yeah, I'm not sure that I ever will wear this, so this one, we're going to get rid of. I'm just going to throw my hangers on the floor. Yeah. So I guess all the ones that I get rid of, I'm going to put in this chair right here in front of me. Okay, and this is a Brandy Melville tank top. Uh, I don't know which one this is. Uh, I like Brandy Melville because a lot of their stuff is my style and it um fits me uh, i wouldn't say brandy melville fits me perfectly because i am too small for a lot of their clothes but a lot of their stuff flatters me so um but this is one of the items that i just don't understand why i bought i feel like this pattern is too crowded like i don't like floral patterns like this i love floral but not like this and I don't know, I, I do like the colors of this, but I feel like I've only worn this like once or twice, and I don't see the need. Yeah, I, I'm going to get rid of this one too. Okay, this is one of my favorite tank tops from Brandy. It's brown. Pointel has a little bowl. I think it's so cute and obviously I would keep this one. Here's another one that I bought during quarantine. I love this. Um, I, I was only initially, I bought it to like lounge around in, but um, I don't know. I feel like this is something I could definitely wear out. It's from Betsy Johnson and it definitely is like yeah, it's Betsy Johnson Intimates. It definitely is, like, like nightwear or whatever, but I think it's so cute. And with a skirt, maybe, like, a denim skirt. It's so cute. Obviously, I'm keeping that. Another one that I bought during uh, quarantine last year. Um, this is a corset top. It's not really my style anymore I guess it just looks so good on me but I'm not I don't think that's a good enough reason to keep it like obviously I could just buy another corset top from anywhere so yeah I've never worn it out either so this one is going to go okay Another tank top, um, I got this one from Urban Outfitters. I think I've only worn this one once too. And I really did like the style at first, but like, I, I don't love this anymore. So this one is just gonna have to go. It is really cute, but it's just, I don't really have much to say about it. I forgot to show another, a, a cool thing about this top though, it actually has like little rhinestones in the strawberries, I thought that's super cute because 
when I initially ordered it, I didn't know that it had that. So when I got it, I was pleasantly surprised. Okay, so now we have this tank top that I got from Depop. I really do like this style. I wouldn't say that this is really like my style like anymore because I was trying to get away from like bright colors and other things because personally I feel like when I wear a lot of color it doesn't like suit me as much as I like. I feel like I look a lot better with like muted I don't know like kind of like neutrals with a pop-up color you know what I mean? I don't know, it's, I'm evolving, I'm changing constantly, so who knows what my style will be next year. <laughs> I think I am going to keep this one because I do think it's really cute. Um, you know, I still do have a lot of stuff that will match it, so in case I want to switch it up, I'll keep it. Okay, another one that I love. <laughs> This is like a, I believe this is like the, um, a dupe or like knockoff for another shirt, but I saw it on Depop, uh, during quarantine. I bought a lot of stuff during that time, but this is one of the items I saw and it just stood out to me because like it has like all the, a lot of like, uh, major cities in here and just so cute. I don't know the original design, but it essentially is the same shirt. <laughs> okay, um, I might have bought this one recently, but um, this is another thing I got from Depop, and <laughs> wait, I just said that. Um, this is like maybe like 90s or early 2000s Charlotte Russe. It's so cute. It's like mesh in the back, but in the front it has like a lining so you can't, so it's not like see through. And I love like the color and the swirls. I think it's super cute. And it actually has a similar design of a dress that I have in my closet, but obviously I'm keeping that one. I forgot to say I'm obviously keeping this one. Okay, and now we're down to my last tank top. I thrifted this years ago, like 2016 I believe. Um, I would go to the thrift store with my grandma a lot of the time, it was like one of my favorite things to do. And one time I was thrifting with her and I found this and it's so beautiful. But um, obviously I'm keeping it. I don't wear this often because I just do. Anyways, um, I don't wear it a lot because it doesn't really fit me super well, but you know, I'll make it work. I'm, um, I forgot to mention, I'm generally a extra small slash extra extra small. Um, smalls usually fit me, but not as, like, nice as I would like. Like, they're often a little bit too big, so most of my clothes would either be extra small or small just in case you're wondering so these are all my keeps i cut four shirts out really proud of that progress so yeah uh-oh I found a hidden tank top in here, so I'm going to put that to the side really quick. But these are all of my shirts. Um, yeah, so we will, um, so yeah, let's go through these. Before I start on the shirts, um, this tank top that I left out, um, this was given to me by someone, but... It's from a brand called Press 601. Um, it has like mesh. It's like mesh, but like has like a bunch of like sequin thing on it. I don't know. This reminded me of like Sharpay from High School Musical. 
And honestly, like that alone made me want to keep it, but I don't think it's practical for me. I probably would never wear it, so. So we're going to get rid of this. Okay, now onto the shirts. I feel like the color is really off right now. Sorry if I look odd, but yeah. First up, we have this John Galt, Brandy Melville, uh, I don't know, baby tee? Is that what you call it? Yeah, it's really cute. It just has New York embroidery. Um, this is one of my favorite shirts. Uh, to wear when I don't feel like putting together an outfit and it's very flattering. It puts me so flattering. It looks the best with low rise jeans. Obviously you gotta keep that one. Here is another like Brandy Melville baby tee. It's just a plain white tee. Obviously you gotta have some basics in your closet so I'm gonna keep that one for sure. And I just like how that one fits the best out of all of like my white baby tees. Here is a Heaven Mark Jacobs baby tee. I don't wear this one often but I, I just adore this design. Um, this is an extra small. Their baby tees don't fit as like form fitting as Brandy's baby tees but I think it's still really cute so obviously I'm gonna keep that one. This is a UNIF baby tee, um, I don't really have much to say, honestly, like, it has a cute just. it has, like, cute, like, airbrushing, but, um, it's not really my style. I don't. I don't think it ever was my style. I feel like I was trying to like force a certain style on myself. No, this is just not really my style, and it doesn't really fit like the way I would like. This one's going to my D pop. This is an angel blue baby tee. I really love this design and like the black girl with the orange hair. So cute. Um, yeah, it honestly, okay, so when Devin Lee Carson came, came out with her collab with Marc Jacobs, her baby tee reminded me so much of this one. Like if I didn't have this one, I would have bought that one. But I think this is so cute and obviously gotta keep this i also bought this from a, a friend of mine a mutual on instagram and tiktok so this is really cool oops so yeah i'm keeping that one i almost took it off the hand a little bit um this is just another uh brandy melville basic white tee this one has like puff sleeves which it will be cute under like vests and stuff like that um yeah keeping that obviously this is an obvious keep this is the heaven Mark jacobs like ro robot girl baby tee um this is like a vinyl like puffy i don't even know what to call it but it's so cute and unique and like Obviously I'm keeping that and another obvious keep is my work shirt. So yeah. <laughs> uh, I didn't do so good this one. I only declutter one shirt, but I don't have that many shirts right now. I might have to do this again in a couple months because I have so much stuff that I like that will be in this haul and I still don't know that all that stuff will fit in my closet. So I better hope I can declutter a lot more stuff because it's not looking so good. Okay, so I have some like, I don't even know what to call these, like very like unique one of one tops. They're actually made out of uh, wedding dresses, like vintage wedding dresses and these are so cute. Obviously I'm keeping them because like, this is so beautiful but um, I just wanted to show you guys on video.
this is what the back looks like you tie it on the back same thing for this long sleeve one so cute um the only reason i don't wear these often is because i don't know how to casually like wear this if anyone has tips feel free to leave them in the comments below Okay, so these are so heavy. These are all of my thin strap dresses. I can barely hold this. Um, so I have a lot, so I'm hoping I can get rid of at least half of these. So, let's begin. This is an Urban Outfitters UO London dress that I actually bought. So it's a tag on because I never wore it, but it's satin mini and it has like this high neckline and honestly I really was like drawn to this because it looked so elegant like on the model and kind of gave me like Audrey Hepburn vibes so obviously I'm going to keep this dress because I'm a big fan of it. All the um ones that I like, I'll just put them hanging back there. This is a dress that I bought probably last year and never wore it. Also, I think I took the tag off of this one though because I intended on, wearing it, intended on wearing it, but I don't know. I thought it would be like a cute little summer dress, but I just don't love it. I could be over like the whole tie-dye thing, but I don't know. Let me get rid of this one. This is a classic. I probably thrifted this like when I first got to New York. I think this is so cute. Um, it definitely fits too big. It's a size medium, but maybe I'll alter it one day. But still when I wear it, I feel pretty cute in it, so... Obviously, I'll keep this one. This is an obvious yes. This is my Heaven Mark Jacobs uh, knit dress. I mean, you guys saw the haul that I did. Like, I love this dress, so obviously I'm keeping it. This is dirty. I don't know why it's hanging, uh, but... This is so old. I haven't worn this in maybe like two years. Um, it's just a pink gingham dress and obviously I'm keeping it. I do need to wash it or dry clean it, but obviously I'm keeping it. And this is the brown version of it, which was really popular at the time, which I'm also keeping. This is a dashiki dress that I bought. When I first got to New York, uh, this dress looks so. This dress looks so good on. This dress honestly looks really good on me, and I always feel really confident when I wear it. I'm pretty sure I've worn it to Afropunk one year too, so I'm just keeping this one. This is a no-brainer. This is my um, Outdoor Voices workout dress. Eventually, when I um, finish like renovating my room and get like a drawer, I might just put this with all my active wear. I'm not sure, but obviously, I'm keeping this. is so cute. This is another um, one that I'm keeping. Um, I bought this because, well, I wanted to go for a Parisian look, but also. This reminded me of a designer dress that was uh, really popular on TikTok at the time. Um, I think I had to alter this dress. I bought it from Urban and it just did not fit at all. So I did have to alter it. I'm thinking about going in and altering it again so that like the parts that I saw, I might take it out so that it comes more like flared out. But yeah, I'll keep this one. That's my little project dress, I guess. But this is a beautiful cow neck dress. Like, 
perfect. But I don't think that I need two satin dresses, so this one will go. It's, it's literally so beautiful. It kind of breaks my heart to get rid of it, but I really don't need so many black dresses. There's something happening. Every time I film, I feel like it's so quiet when I'm not filming. I don't know what this is. Okay, this is like my fairy dress. Oh, so pretty. I'm sad that I didn't wear it this summer because this is definitely like a summery dress. I might even wear this to like a wedding. I don't know. But this is so cute. Like, I got this from, um, where did I get this from? either Mercari or Poshmark, but the brand is called City Triangles. If you look them up, they made a lot of dresses like in this style, kind of like fairy-esque. I gave one to my really good friend Emily, so like, we can kind of be twinning, right? Obviously kept that one. Oof, now we're on to another classic. I love this dress. Um. I don't remember when I bought this, but I think I did get it off of Depop or one of the other secondhand uh, apps. But this is from a brand called La Belle, maybe you would say. Um, this is just so beautiful. Like it, it's stunning on me, and I'm gonna wear this until I can't wear it no more. I'm doing kind of bad so far. I'm not getting rid of anything. Um, this is another no brainer. I love the way this dress hugs my curves. And this is from Urban Outfitters from a few years back. I have a black version of it as well. Uh, this one, the same dress, just different designs. This one is also floral, but as you can see, it's also still like a black floral. I'm gonna keep both of these because these are like the perfect, like. I don't know, you don't know what to wear, so you just throw this on. Put on some gold jewelry, and you're out. Like, this is the move. These dresses are beautiful. Honestly, I wish that this is one of their continuing styles so that you guys could get your hands on it too, but unfortunately, they don't sell it anymore. Okay. We might get somewhere. Um, this is a dress I bought from Depop. It's so beautiful. Neon green and blue. Yes, the style is very stunning. It's like ruched on one side. It has these beads. It's so beautiful, but like I've only worn it one time for a party. Mm. I don't know. This isn't really even my color palette. I do like this like detail here but I don't know I feel like I should probably get rid of it <laughs> it's taking up space and um, obviously we don't want that so we're gonna get rid of this one okay here's a no-brainer I'm keeping this one this is Urban Outfitters Betsy Johnson collab I adore this dress first of all and it's like a mesh dress with like a slip underneath it. Oh, it's so beautiful. This is one of my favorite dresses. I'm pretty sure you've seen this one on my Instagram if you've been here long enough or if you've stopped my Instagram. But yeah, this is so pretty. This does not look good. I'm like essentially keeping everything. Okay, here's a dress. <laughs> Here's another dress that I adore. This is Brandy Melville. Um, I bought this during quarantine. Uh, the dress doesn't originally come like this. The person I bought it from sold this on, which is pretty cool. But this is like definitely one of those just throw on dresses. Like, and it's so good for summer. Like, it's very summery. Um, I know earlier I said I don't like crowded patterns like this, but I feel like. I prefer this one because it's more fabric for one and also like the colors are a lot softer. So 
so yeah I'm obviously keeping that one okay and last dress I'm also keeping this is one of my favorite dresses it's really comfortable to wear I love how you can bring it in by tying it in the back I think that's so cute um not much to say okay so these are all the ones that I'm keeping I only got rid of three dresses but it's a start I'm not I'm not organizing this because I don't feel like doing it but when I go back and add all the other stuff to my closet I'll reorganize now for my like thicker strap dresses um, yeah let's start so first up we have this one this isn't a dress that I would wear this is not my style at all but I am keeping this because it perfectly matches my um, swimsuit that I bought that I never got to use but I feel like this is like the perfect beach cover up for that dress so I'm gonna keep this I got this from Depop during quarantine I think um, I don't think it's branded but I have a lot of dresses possibly from this same brand because it has the same exact style and fabric so I'll show you those I have these two dresses here both from Depop um, which are like the same exact style and fabric as the dress I just showed um, this one is a neon green with a uh, like different fish on it and this one is the same thing but like in a teal color i wanted to do a photo shoot with this photographer because i came up with a concept for this uh based on this dress i just never got the chance to do it because um you know covid and stuff like that was getting in the way of me feeling comfortable working with people i doubt like uh, the photographer won't want to do it now, but yeah, I've just been saving it just in case. And also, I just think it's really unique, and I would love to like hold on to this because I don't think I would ever be able to find these anywhere. Like they're pretty rare, so I'm gonna keep these. And then here I have a beautiful cow neck dress. It's actually a reversible dress. The inside is pink. Um. This may also be unbranded, because where would they put the tag? But yeah, um, it's super cute. Um, I love cow neck. I got this from Depop, and it looks good on me, so I'm keeping it. Okay, now, this is a dress I got from Depop. I paid way too much money for. I bought this, oh, the brand is Rocket Candy. Um, I bought this because I wanted a dupe for an IMG address. In this summer, uh, the summer of quarantine, I was trying my best not to shop fast fashion, and I didn't buy anything really fast fashion. I was thrifting a lot on Depop. <laughs> um, it did kind of have like the similar like color gradient thing as the dress that I'm referring to, but I don't know. This isn't really like me. I don't know. It is similar to another dress that I have, but I feel like that one is a lot better than this one, so I'm going to go with this. Here's another uh, Urban Outfitters UO London dress. This is the one I was referring to about like the similar like swirly mesh style as that Charlotte Rose tank top. Um, Um, this here is really cute, but I feel like it's just not very flattering for me. Um, yeah, so I would just give this to someone else who could probably pull it off a lot better than me. Because, I don't know, it just doesn't like, match my body the way I would like. I already don't really have very dramatic curves, so... This kind of just makes me feel body dis body dysmorphia, I guess. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. 
This is a beautiful one. I actually wore this dress um, in a video, maybe two videos ago. Or I don't want to say two videos ago. I actually wore this dress in a chit chat get ready with me, like towards the end of the video when I was in Alabama. I wore this dress and it made me feel so cute and bougie. This is by the brand Isis Minnelli. Um, Isis Minnelli. I don't know, but I love this dress. My only thing about this dress is that it's very hard to put on because it's not stretchy and it doesn't have any zippers, so yeah. Okay, so I bought this dress during quarantine. Um, this dress is by Mad Michelle. They make a lot of nice dresses, but if this looks familiar, it's because Unif copied this design. And I'm so lucky because I feel like I often buy things on Depop way before Unif copied it exposes them as copycats because maybe I just have like a good eye or something. Like I'll be a good buyer for, for Unif because a lot of the stuff that I bought during quarantine was exposed. Like the little, um, the woven bags, the crochet needlepoint bag, I bought that one before they even exposed it. And I just thought that was so funny. But obviously this is beautiful and I want to keep it. So, yeah. This is a dress forum dress um, I got from Urban Outfitters and it's long and knit it, it kind of reminds me of the Marc Jacobs like, with like the knit material and it's kind of like a uh, bodycon I actually am using this dress I actually like have like a dupe to that dress in the black color um, I just bought some long uh, fingerless gloves that would knit and it literally looks so similar and that is what kept me from not buying the black version as well but yeah super long though and yeah, I love it so I'm gonna keep it this is another dress that um oh I saw the tags I might just return this one actually because I bought this so long ago I just never wore it because I had to, I have to adjust the straps for me to wear it comfortably and I just didn't feel like doing that. So I might just return it. I don't really want to return it though because I think it's super cute. Uh, obviously I'll just hold on to this. And we'll see. And this is a um, Earth Angel original design dress. Unfortunately, it's too big for me, so I have to work on it some. I think I'm gonna like take it in only at the top so that it fits me better. But this is so cute and unique. Like the hand, it's like a white dress, like baby doll dress, but the handles, the straps are neckties. Like that is so cool. But, anyways, so. From that stack, I decluttered two dresses, and these are the ones I have left. Okay, so these are like my dresses with like sleeves, so this is obviously very short. This is an obvious keep, this is the Urban Outfitters Betty dress, it gives off the perfect like classic um elegant look i really love the cut and it looks so good like braless it looks really good so i'm just gonna keep doing that this is the yellow version of it i haven't worn it yet but i wanted something in my wardrobe to be yellow because of this bag. I want something to at least match it, but I don't know, I feel like when I wear this one I might wear like a white t-shirt underneath it or something. This is so cute. Obviously I'm gonna keep that. Another obvious keep, this is the almighty like strawberry dress. 
Come on, this is like my favorite dress. And I love the like square neckline. This helped me discover my love for square necklines, honestly. I love it. Another vintage keep. I thought this probably when I first got here as well in New York. Um, initially, I didn't think the dress was branded, but I found a tag maybe like a few weeks ago. And the brand is Candy Jones, California. So, obviously, look up Candy Jones, California if you're interested in some of their style. Um, this dress is also kind of hard to get in because there's no zippers, so you kind of have to like step into it. And I feel like every time I do, I'm like ripping seams. But it looks so beautiful on, and it's, it's really cute. Classic. Um, this is one that I think I'm just going to, I don't know, I'm going to keep it. Okay, I'll keep it. I'll keep it because it looks so good on me, but when do I ever get the chance to wear this, you know? I'll keep it. This was a fail. I'm keeping all of these. Okay, so I'm going to start with sweater vests. This is what my sweater vest collection looks like. Obviously keeping, this is John Galt, Brandy Melville. It's like the same. I don't really understand the difference between the two. But, um, this lighting. I'm so sorry about the lighting. But it's brown, and I love that out of all my sweater vests, this one is a lot more like form fitting. So I'm just gonna keep that. Here's one that I think I actually will get rid of because I don't like this design that much. I don't know, I don't love this design. Um, I also found this itchy, so I did end up cutting one of the tags, but this is Unif. Um, I also feel like it just kind of doesn't look flattering on me, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. This one that I'm also keeping, this is Liz Sport. I thought this was men's, but it's actually, it turns out to be women's. So... Yeah. I'll keep it. I feel like I could do some really cool looks with this, and I love these muted tones, I guess. Very good for me. Uh, this is a Brandy Melville one that I got recently, and it's navy blue and red. I really liked it because of the heart design. I feel like that's super cute, so I'm obviously keeping that one. And this one I'll also keep. This is caught by Lady Norman. I also bought this during quarantine when I when I was going for like a Kogal look. Uh, I don't know if this was in my buy my dream wardrobe haul, but yeah, this I'm obviously keeping. I still never wore it, but I'm gonna keep it because those colors are so amazing. I I declutter one sweater vest, which is good. I'm so hesitant to let go of that unif one, but it has to go. It has to go. And maybe next time I do a closet to clutter, I'll be a lot more stern with myself because I feel like I like I'm keeping a lot of stuff that I probably never wear. All right, now we're on to long sleeves. I really gotta start speeding this up, but um, let's do this. Okay, so the first one from Cop Capine, Paris. I was gifted this from a TikTok mutual from France. That is so cool. This is so my style. Um, I showed this in a video recently. I was in keeping this. This one is from Vivian Tan. Uh, I like the colors and the style, but it's just not for me. Like, I don't really. I think I like this design, so we're gonna get rid of that one.
This is an obvious keep. This is my Urban Outfitters um, cardigan, pearl button cardigan. I need to fix one of the buttons, but you know, obviously we're keeping that one. I also have it in black. I think it's in the wash or something, but yeah. This is a tough one. This is the Heaven Mark Jacobs like thermal. The reason this is so tough is because I love how unique it is, right? But it just it doesn't flatter me at all. Like every time I wear it, I feel like I am very like body self-conscious because it just makes me like just straight up and down and that just I don't know. I think I might get rid of this one. If you guys see me like not list some of the stuff from this video, it's probably because I changed my mind. Which is so bad, but I I'll try not to do that for most of the items because I really do need to let go of it. Sometimes when I'm like listing things on Depop, last minute I'm just like, actually I'll hold up on some of this one. Like it's just it'll be in my drafts, but I just won't post it, you know. This is another one that can just go. I don't really like this shirt and I kind of wish I didn't mess it up. Like I got it kind of like fuzzy on the sleeves and on the sides. I do love the square neckline but I just don't love this shirt. I don't have much to say about this. But this on the other hand, the green version of that shirt, I love. Like I'm obsessed with. Ew, why is it doing that? My hangers is dirty and everything, but I'm obsessed with this, so obviously I'm going to keep it. Um, this I have to let go of, unfortunately. I love the style of this, but unit sleeves are just so short, like, I don't like my sleeves to be too short. Like, all of the unit stuff that I bought in an extra small, fit my body but my arms are just freakishly long I guess and they just didn't fit and I don't want to go through the trouble of trying to stretch these arms I initially was going to do that but honestly what's the point I'm, I don't I'd rather just sell it instead of possibly ruining, ruining it so yeah that one's going and then the other one I have left is obviously this I'm not selling this is so freaking cute I'm obsessed with this it's just amazing and this brand is Ali Borbella or Ali Borbo. I believe this is a Japanese brand I have like a lot of like Japanese like branded stuff that was given to me so eventually I'll go through that stuff and list it on Depop I just haven't got to it that is actually the part of my closet like I'll show it to you in a second, but that part of my closet, I'm not going to go through in this time. I think I was saying earlier that I'll have to go through that another time, but I'll show you what the deal is. So this is now my long sleeve shirt. I was able to declutter four of those, which is great. Now we're going to go for some um, jackets, I guess. I don't know, I've been talking so long, I'm starting to blink, but now we're going to go for some jackets. This, obviously, I'm keeping. This is my Brandy Melville, like, knit jacket. It's so cute. It was itchy when I first got it, but it's not, either it's not itchy anymore because I've been wearing it, or I just got immune to it. <laughs> Uh, this is a fine girl, um, Jennifer's Body dupe jacket, like the popular jacket. I've never seen that movie and I'm not really, like, eager to see it, but I just really like this trend. Even though, I don't know, I love Y2K fashion even though I don't wear it, so. I'm just saving it for that one time I'll pop out in Y2K. Oh, and this is the tr the fine girl tracksuit. It's so smooth. I think that they got better like quality 
for their tracksuits because these are this one is way softer than the other ones that I've owned. And I just love this. Obviously, I'm keeping that. Another obvious keep is this like vintage dress that comes with like a jacket. It's so beautiful. I never got the chance to wear it, but it's so pretty, and I hope that I can wear it soon. Okay. We're at the home stretch. I just have uh, like skirts and bottoms to do next. Okay, so this is what my um. <laughs> these are my skirts. Anyways, I keep a lot of them on this. These two racks, which hold like a lot of uh, skirts and stuff, but my tie skirts are too big for them, <laughs> so. I put them on their own hanger. Uh, let's actually start with the tie skirts. I feel like I have too many of them. Three is just too many, you know? So, let's see. For this one, this tie specifically really drew me, drew me in. Looks like a rainbow. And I do like there's like purple and gray and red and like all those different colors. So, I'll definitely keep this one. This is another one that I just fell in love with. It has pink, cream, some red, some blue. Um, this one is just a really great tie skirt. And obviously I have to keep this one. This one suits my style the most out of all of them. So I have to keep this one. When it comes to this one, I'm just unsure. Oh, because I really love this like cream orange tie and I love the like green and earth tones but like I don't know. I've already decluttered like two of my tie skirts and I've sold one already but I really love this one and I feel like Tinkerbell when I wear it so I'll keep it for now. Okay, this is going to be a little bit difficult to go through. Um, so this is my American Apparel Circle denim skirt. I am a light denim person. Dark denim just doesn't do it for me. I would wear it, but I gravitate more towards, towards lighter colors. Oh my god. I hope that's not interpreted wrong also. Because that sounded weird when I thought about it, but lighter colors in my clothing. Anyways, um, obviously gonna keep this one. I love how it makes my outfits look, so keep. Um, this one is not, I don't really have any shorts, and I think if I'm gonna wear shorts, this is how they should look like. This is pretty freaking cool. It's like, it has like eyelet under it, and it's super cute. So I'm gonna keep these. And then these are like my Granny Melville, like, I don't know, like short capri jean short capris. I really like how these look on me and they fit like really like low waisted, which is kind of like flattering in like a lot of ways. So I will keep all of these. Now we're on to these skirts. Um, if you couldn't tell, I'm keeping on my denim on one and then other on this one. So, first up, we have this black mini skirt from Urban Outfitters. This one also fits low rise, super cute. It just, it's self explanatory. Like, it's just a beautiful skirt. So, keeping that one. This one I actually got from, um, um, I was given this from Sammy Quinn. Uh, the CEO Creative Earth Angel. Um, I was with, I was at her house shooting, and she just like was like, "Oh, do you want this skirt? I can't fit it." And I was just like, "Yeah." At first, I was unsure about it because this isn't really stuff I was wearing at the time. But I'm so glad that I said yeah because this dress is just beautiful. This skirt is just beautiful. It's my name. <laughs> Another Depop find. This is by Royal Bones. Uh, this is just a tartan mini skirt, also low rise, 
Super cute, self-explanatory. Spent way too much. Spent way too much money on it. This is an Urban Outfitters mini skirt. It also fits kind of low rise. I like the colors. I've only worn it maybe like once or twice. Um, so I'll keep it. This is for you only USA. The uh, skirt as well as the bloomers. I don't have an opportunity to wear these often because nothing matches them. Like it's so weird. Nothing matches them. But obviously I really love them so I'm going to keep them. And then I have this Cherokee brand skirt. This is a, a girl skirt actually, but like I I can fit it. So I I when I saw this when I saw this on Depop, I think last summer during quarantine, I really like I loved it. I thought it was so cute, but. Every time I wear it, I just don't love it, and I feel like it just doesn't like suit a lot of the things that I try to pair it with. So I'm gonna let this one go. Okay, so far only got rid of one skirt, but I'll be keeping all of these. Okay, so this is now what my closet looks like. Um, got rid of a lot of stuff actually. Um, what I was talking about earlier, this is what I was talking about earlier, like all of these clothes down here, I, we'll just go through in like a couple of weeks, but eventually, I want to get rid of all of this stuff because I want to put my laundry hamper in here, because it just makes sense for my laundry hamper, hamper to like be with my clothes, so like when I'm changing, I can just throw it in there. So yeah, that's what I want to utilize this space for. In my other videos, you'll see me go through all of- Oh! I hate when that happens. In my other videos, you'll see me go through, like, my accessories and all of that. I won't go through this because this is for, um, sewing projects. Like, everything that I need to sew, I just put up here. So, okay, so this is, like, all the clothes that I got rid of, that I'm getting rid of. It's actually a lot. I'm pretty proud of myself for getting rid of this much. But when you see the haul, you'll understand why I'm trying to get rid of stuff. Because it's like a huge haul. And it's collective, so it's not just stuff that I bought recently. It's stuff that I've been buying over the... I apologize for this lighting. It's not great. But, yeah. You'll see um, why this... Why I need to clear so much space. Um, but yeah, uh... I will be trying all of these items on, so stay tuned for that. Um, also stay tuned because they will be up on my Depop around the same time I publish this video. So yeah, keep watching and I apologize for all of the color changes throughout this video. I'm working with daylight and I just had to do this video today of all days. So yeah, uh, stay tuned.